Alright, back in. Uh, you know, I've always been like curious about like what's going to happen next. You know, everyone, <laughs> obviously, everyone is curious about that kind of that part of life. You know, like what is going to come? Like what is, like what will the future be? You know. Like we can expect much, but we can only, you know, get just a little bit of our that kind of expectation. You know, like we would expect, like fast traveling method, like teleportation or something, but no, what we got. It's like some sort of super fast method of traveling, you know, between countries. Not just like, you know, like going to, you know, one part of country to another part of country in like a few, you know, hours. I'm talking about minutes, maybe half a minute, just like, let's say... I don't know, like, just a small area, maybe like, I cannot like, actually pinpoint, let's just say like a point in where here in my country, Kuala Lumpur, goes all the way to Singapore, like somewhere in the center of Singapore, would take about, what, 30 minutes? They already they already start building it anyways, but uh, I don't know I don't know if it's gonna work. All I know is that there's gonna be a lot of you know problems with that you know. It's like why why would people just like have like this kind of small fights, you know, things that they don't agree you know, agree and disagree about something, you know, like, maybe some country, uh, accept, uh, LGBT, some country does not accept LGBT, you know, like, eh, I don't care if you're gay, lesbian, trans, whatever, you go, you know, but let me <laughs> tell you this, there's only two genders, it's either you have a pair of boobs and a vagina or you have you know a dick and a pair of balls and a muscly well boyish figure well i'm not saying muscly but i'm saying boyish figure with a dick that's it you know like just two genders that's it you know no more than that you know but if you have like a pair of boobs and a dick, you know, it's either your transgender who was originally was a guy, you know, but if you were born that way, okay, you know, I, ha I have nothing to do with it and I don't need to know about it. About uh, the majority of the genders here on earth are just two genders, which is male and female. I've never heard, you know, about like some person, a kid maybe, you know, who was born with a dick, a vagina and a pair of boobs never heard in my life you know but if you know if i've you know actually seen one maybe i'll just believe it you know i'll just like put it in the like trap gender i mean yeah trap gender trap transgender kind of gender you know like i know anime and traps are kind of my kind of thing you know like loving traps yes i do love traps but just the 2D, okay? Like, just the 2D. No 3D IRL trap, okay? But if it does look like a unique 
and very like acceptable kind of trap you know like for me at least i might as well just like take the trap you know and just like go for it you know it's like it's a trap that is actually worth looking at and worth you know having at least you know okay that come out wrong that came out wrong but still you know you know what i'm saying you know i love traps you know I don't know I don't know when I start loving traps, you know. It's not it's not Boku no Pico. I think it was uh Astolfo I guess. Yeah. I don't know how you pronounce his name. I'm calling a he, okay, I'm calling a he. Even though he looks like a girl, you know, he's still a guy. He still has a penis. But still generally look like a girl, okay? You know, like, I think it's like, it's start from him that I actually love traps, you know. And then it just like build up from there and then all the other traps just like come into my life. And then, and then I start accepting it, you know. Boku no Pico is just like, a, it's, it's not like some kind of goal. It wasn't like a milestone for me. Like... I've watched Boku no Pico, yes, you know, and I didn't get a boner, yes, you know, for the first time watching it, yes, I, you know, didn't have a boner, you know, right now, uh, if I watch it right now, I might have one, you know, you know, it called me gay, but still, it's like, I don't know, I don't know if I am gay, you know, I only accept girls and guys who genuinely look like girls, okay? That's not gay, you know, that's being honest with yourself, okay? It's like you are being honest with yourself that you actually love that kind of person, okay? I love this kind of person. There's nothing else that I would love to be with than this person because this is unique, okay? This person is unique. He looks like a girl, but he has a dick. Okay, I love to like. I don't care if he's gay or not. You know, I still be like, yay! Let me hug you. Yay! You still look like a girl. Fuck you. Shut up. You no, know, just hug me. Yes. You know. What the fuck? Why you do? Why you having a boner for? I'm just hugging you. Huh? Shut up. Okay, sure, sure. H- uh, have it in the ass. You know. Let me suck it off. Yeah, please, please don't just like do that, you know, like I won't do that straight away, you know, like not just like accepting it straight away, you know, like I can give you one, like I can give you a blowjob if you are like a genuine trap, you know, I don't care that much, I'm not much of a masochist, I don't know, it's Wanting to kill myself, a masochist like kind of thing, you know. I don't think so, you know. I really do like, I really do want to kill myself, like, I really do want to commit suicide, but seriously, like, I still have my responsibilities as a man, you know, like personal stuff. I can't just like share it to the world, you know, it's like. Just keep it to myself and my family and nothing else, you know. Like, I have problems, don't we all, you know. Like, the only problem that I can actually share with people is that I am not doing well, you know. Like, I have, like, no idea what to do in my life, you know. Currently, I'm uh, studying, still studying in college. Yeah, sad life. Yeah. I'm still taking diploma. (sighs) You know, like, when I actually first, you know, knew what is college, I thought it was, like, a really awesome place to just, like, go and just, like, learn something, learn something that is actually genuinely great to learn or something like that, you know? Depending on what your what you like, you know what kind of uh, 
major you want to be in or something like i'm in culinary arts you know uh which is i just do cooking for a living apparently well i do now yes uh me and my mom uh so we're we're selling uh cakes and brownies uh it's a nice thing yeah uh it's not that sweet so it's kind of like good in a way you know it's because i i've i've tasted a lot of things you know even when i make my own tea i still put too much sugar you know and i still say to myself like it's too sweet but i love it you know it's like I'm addicted, you know, I'm addicted to sugar and I'm going to get diabetes. What a way to die. Yeah, apparently like this is like the country where, you know, those kinds of uh, chronic disease, it's not actually a disease, is it? Things like that happen, you know, like we eat way too much. We have, we our cholesterol intake is way too high you know like you know peop other countries like maybe like countries with you know like four season like the basic four season that you would would learn at school you know uh spring uh summer spring uh, wait autumn winter spring summer yeah uh, those those four uh basic season where like you only eat a little you know like eating a big mac is like a full meal you know like whenever i see like people eating you know especially in the uh western hem- uh western side of this world those they have like these like plates and the portions that they eat are just like the size of their own you know uh hand you know like it's just like the size of their fist you know it's like that's it that's how much you eat every time you want to go eat you know like breakfast there brunch if you want it lunch there you go supper there you go just that small portion you know depending on the person's you know fist you know like they just like (laughs) eat that much you know every single time you know that's why they just like live okay you know i don't know about uh people with obese issues you know like i don't know about you know uh that kind that part of uh thing you know like i'm I'm not fat myself you know like you've seen me like i'm not fat but i am gonna get diabetes soon i think because i have i'm too addicted to uh sugar apparently like eh, it's like it's okay it's fine you know like it's not like i'm actually burning my money you know like if I buy sugar, eat it, at least I get energy. It's not like I buy alcohol and make myself into an alcoholic. Or maybe buy packs of cigarettes and become a addicted smoker or something, you know. Like I have like a few uh, friends and uh, people in my life who actually smoke you know uh my family doesn't smoke uh, my my parents doesn't smoke my uh siblings don't smoke yeah, so yeah i don't smoke either but if but i do have friends you know like close friends who actually smoke the only thing that i can actually say to them is that you know uh can you pass that for a moment you know like you can just like smoke outside, don't smoke here or something. I'm sorry to be rude or something. But that's the way it is, you know, like I cannot it's not that I cannot stand, you know, uh smoke. You know, it's not that I have asthma. I have even I even have friends who has who have asthma, still has asthma. 
and I'm trying to work it out, you know, for them, you know, it's like, hey, let's go for a run or something, so we can cure your asthma or something, so yeah, at least I try to give them support, you know, like, go out, go have a run, you know, just to cure your asthma or something, I don't need, like, to actually, like, show people, like, tell people about what they need to do in their life you know it's like that's that's their kind of problem you know like the only thing that i can do is just like give life advice you know not just giving like uh, one shot advice of what they are doing wrong at the moment you know like this person is smoking it's like don't burn your money <laughs> don't burn your money <laughs> buy something else you know so you can actually like use it to actually love yourself you know like if i had enough money you know to buy a car that would be like the greatest happiest most pleasurable moment in my entire life you know like i have my own car under my own name you know they might not have insurance but hell yeah like seriously like i love driving cars i love driving cars i wish i can collect cars the closest thing that i can collect is just hot wheels and even then i'm gonna sell it and i'm gonna cry like it's, it's not that much actually most of them are well written that it was made locally and few like in other few countries near uh, Malaysia uh, so what is it the hell like <laughs> shoot like okay the, uh, this is gonna be like something that I'm gonna tell people uh, apparently I'm gonna warn you about something I tend to forget things by the first, uh, by the last second, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now I remembered. I was talking about cars. Yeah, like shoe. I don't know if it's like either. I'm. I. I don't have autism, you know, like autism or schizophrenia or something. I don't know what that. How do you pronounce it? Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, I don't know. Like you tend to forget things, uh, like in a short amount of time, and yeah, I te- I sometimes do forget, you know, like by the last second. Why? Because I don't have enough sleep. Okay, like you know, just to let you know, it is in like it's three a.m. Okay, like it's three a.m in the morning okay it's dark outside you know like i'm talking to myself everyone everyone is asleep you know like your brain wouldn't work as well as it is when it's like fully recharged or something you know had a good rest you know like this is not the way it should be you know like talking to your like doing this while your brain is tired it's not a good thing so yeah so back to the story uh i collect hot wheel cars yeah i'm gonna cry when i sell them apparently because like these are like nice hot wheel cars you know most of them are like irl cars they're they're not hot wheels design cars you know some of them are uh designed by hot wheels i only uh took them as in like a cool concept car you know i don't just like take them like hey that's a really cool car i just like accept it as a nice looking car from hot wheels you know like every car that i buy is either like it looks cool you know or 
it's in the real world you know if it's in the real world i want to buy it someday you know i have like uh maybe like 50 of them i guess like i i would say it's like a collection or something you know like most of them are uh taken out of the box uh that's a different story to it so yeah <laughs> gonna take a break it's been like 20 minutes talking so yeah Boop. make sure uh, to give some feedback or something I don't care if you subscribe but hell you know you can come again if you want to hear some you know miserable depressed man talking to himself in the middle of the night thank you for listening <laughs> oh god